Hello guys, Windows 8 Fan 2012 here. Today, I will be showing you how to log in to a Microsoft account on Windows 8.0 in 2025. Now to prove that I'm not on like, um, what is it? To prove that I'm not on Windows 8.1, here is the proof. You can see here this is 6.2 kernel with Windows 8 Pro. Now this works on any Windows 8 version obviously. Um, in the past, um, like maybe last year I'd say, you were able to log in just fine and everything would even sync with you too. But recently it doesn't work, it doesn't authenticate with the Microsoft servers. So today I'm going to be showing you how to, not authenticate necessarily, but let's just say force yourself into the MS servers. So first off, just open up um, whatever, open up whatever the heck you want, just open up like in Explorer Firefox, and you want to just search up the HTT Debugger Pro. Um, so once you do that, you want to just click on here and download the free seven-day trial. Who cares if it's free seven-day trial? You can just crack it if you really care that much. There are cracks out there for it. Okay, so here I am at the desktop. I have my HTT Debugger. Once it installs, you just want to click on it and go through the setup which shouldn't take too long you just go accept the terms yes and there you go you are now got HTTD Debugger Pro what I'm trying to say is you're going to experience like you're going to have some pop-ups of like what you do and like what you're meant to do you just skip for all that and you're also going to pop up talking about the SSL I don't really know what it says um just click yes on it because you will need to click yes on it so you're going to have outgoing requests and you're going to have incoming requests. So make sure you get that certificate. Once you do that, you can just go in and log in with a Microsoft account. Now, I'm literally going to, I'm not going to show you the details obviously that I'm putting in, but I'm going to do this in real time, just so you are aware that this does work. So we're going to just go ahead and put in the password. And now I'm going to put in a real email, like a real email that I sometimes use. So obviously, you know, I'm not showing my emails. But uh, once you do that, just go get through that. You should get to this step at least. At least you should get to this step where tell um you can put in your password. And you're just gonna put the whatever the hell the password is. You should just be able to finish that, and it should eventually just lock you into your Microsoft account. As you can see there, obviously emails blurred. But as you can see right there, you can actually get the email working. Let me screenshot that. Um, you can see right here. I'm logged in, and for uh, further proof, you can see the name on the bottom there. And if I go into calendar, it will open without nagging me about a Microsoft account. You can see now, it should give me the little pop up for um, the date. I guess it just refuses to. Uh, you do have mail and uh, other stuff. These should work. You should just be able to go in now without nagging. And so, don't think this is going to sync anything. This will obviously sync jack it's not going to sync anything just like it does on april 1 as well where it doesn't sync anything whatsoever so don't expect it to do that um but it is pretty cool because it lets you access the mail app and it also lets you uh, log into the mail app through there thank you guys for watching i hope this tutorial helps and peace out